Welcome back. And I'm back with Senator Mike Rounds. Senator, thank you so much. Sorry about the uh, technical issues. The Senate is obviously going to vote today to block the president's national emergency declaration. How are you voting? I'll be supporting the president's position in, on this particular vote. Uh, I think he has made the point that there, there, is an, there is a national emergency at the border. We're seeing it. What's happening is we've got thousands, literally in some cases 76,000 individuals trying to get across in a month. They're overwhelming this, the, uh, the, the manpower that we've got at the southern border. And in doing so now, the Mexican drug cartels have figured it out. And when we're busy just taking in these folks who are coming in and asking for asylum, they're finding ways to get into the rest of the country, but they're crossing the borders. And it's not just at the ports of entry. Well, so you've got five, I'll five support the president's position. Five Republicans, though, are, are not. And as a result, it's likely going to pass the Senate, right? And then the president will veto it. That's right. And, and I think, uh, you know, this is the unfortunate part. We thought there might be a way to, to put together a package deal to where those individuals could express the concerns that they've got with the constitutional issues surrounding the emergency declaration. Unfortunately, we weren't able to resolve it with the White House. And uh, we end up in the situation where the president will probably have to exercise his veto authority, which would then be sustained by the House uh, uh, when it comes before them. So you don't think that, the, that, that this would actually, the, the reappeal uh, fighting back the, the president's veto will actually come to pass? Uh, I, I don't think that, that they'll be able to override the president's veto. That, right. That's correct. I, look, I, I really think the biggest challenge is going to come in October as we move through, forward with the appropriations package in, in future years. We had estimated that we may need $25 billion for uh, the security at the, at the southern border. Uh, the president may have here as much as $8 billion, some of which is going to be challenged in court for years. Unfortunately, I think with Democrats in control of the House, I don't think they will offer any sort of an appropriations package that allows the president to use these emergency funds in the future. Very similar to what we do with, uh, 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 you know, not allowing the federal government. Uh, we restrict the federal government from using any funds for abortions with the Hyde Amendment. My suspicion is there will be an amendment on every appropriation bill from this point forward that the president sees that will restrict his use of funds for anything at the border. And, and that's very unfortunate. I, I had hoped that we'd be able to resolve it uh, before that came to play. Senator, it's good to have you on the program. Thanks so much. Thank you. Senator Mike Rounds joining us there.